a positively charged oil drop fall in air in a uniform field that is vertically upward. The droplet has a constant terminal speed and electric field strength E. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try some draw draw some things here to help me think a little bit better about what's happening. So I have electric field pointing up. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I have an oil drop right there on the side. And it's at a constant speed. Okay. Uh, and it's falling. Oh, right. That's important. Oil drop is falling with a certain velocity. And it's positively charged. Okay. Let's add in all the forces later. Let's continue reading first. The magnitude of force due to air resistance is proportional to the speed of the droplet. This is what we call the air resistance. Huh? We call this a drag force. And it's proportional to speed. How fast are you moving? You move faster, bigger drag force. Which graph shows the variation of electric field strength with the terminal velocity or terminal speed? This is interesting. How are we, how are we going to find what that is? Maybe it's good to revisit our diagram once again. And maybe draw it a little bit bigger this time. So, oil drop. There's going to be force acting on it. Let's start with the electric force because that's the, the main one. If this is positive charge, it's going to experience the electric force upwards because the E field strength is pointing upwards, so the force also point upwards. That's the first force. Then this is an oil drop, right? So there should probably be some weight as well. We apply this whenever there is oil drop, sand particle, but if it's electron, we don't care about weight. Oil drop, quite heavy one. Next, Air resistance, if you are falling, are you falling? An oil drop falls. Yes, correct. You are falling. So that means the velocity is downwards. That means the drag force is upwards. What shall we call this? D. Uh. Okay, la. D proportional to V. Maybe you can come up with the equation. D equals to KV. Probably. Okay. So V, uh, this will be KV or D. At terminal velocity, a very special condition occurs. Terminal velocity, there's no net force. It's just zero acceleration, zero net force. So I'm going to write that. At terminal velocity or terminal speed, the downwards force, mg, is equal to all the force pointing upwards. So that will be d plus the electric force. Okay. How is that going to help us find the graph again? Uh? The point of this exercise is if you can find an equation that has V0 and E inside it, you can know the trend of the graph. Is it straight? Is it flat? What's happening? So why don't we continue with that first? So mg, <clears throat> all right, mm, mg is just mg. D is going to be k times some velocity. At terminal velocity, this is going to be V0. We have V0 in the equation. That's the first uh, electric force, we need it in terms of E, so maybe this will be Q times E. This may not particularly help us, but let's try to rearrange this equation into a form where we can recognize in a linear form. So I'm going to do, let's see what's on my y-axis. V0 is on my y-axis, E is on my x-axis. Let's try to get the V0 out of there. So K times V0 equals to Mg minus Qe. Last step, I will go to this side, next to my head. So I can say V0 equals to negative QE over K plus MG over K. Huh. This is what I can recognize as a straight line equation because my y-axis is V0. My x-axis is E, electric field strength. Everything else is going to be y equals to mx plus c. So you kind of have to do a bit of pattern matching here. Intercept is uh, mg over k. Your gradient is going to be a negative gradient, negative q over k. So from here, we can see, okay, confirm. It's going to be a straight line starting at some intercept. So straight line, that means c and d are out. a probably. Negative gradient, yep, negative q over k. Intercept, mg over k. That's how I know for sure that A is the answer for this question. So make sure you know how to linearize. 
and think through the forces, even better if you can come up with an equation to con convince yourself that A is the correct answer. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.